it has okay. been. Okay, Mr. Alicorn, for your presentation. A few weeks ago, I had the pleasure of getting one of those calls and uh, sitting down with Russell Brand. Uh, and I didn't tell you what we did. <laughs> um, and also uh, uh, his partner in this endeavor, Lori Burns, about their vision and plans to open a licensed substance abuse treatment center in the Northeast San Fernando Valley. Russell Brand and Lori want to establish a new rehabilitation program in that facility. So today we are, this is not only a presentation, it is also an item on the agenda because we are uh, approving uh, $500,000 in community development block is, These are people who really care. We owe uh, both of them uh, this tribute uh, and our, our, uh, our gratitude for uh, the work that they uh, have done and the work that they will continue to do in the city of Los Angeles. So with that, I'd like to present Russell Brand. Yeah, thank you very much. That was very kind. Um, I'm very grateful to be here today and to participate in your democratic process in your country, particularly as an Englishman. Uh, I didn't know there was singing and stuff. Uh, seems like a lot more fun than in my country. You've really done well since you broke away. Congratulations on your republic. Um, yeah, I, I'm really, really grateful, really grateful to be here, particularly uh, in association with Laurie, uh, of whom you've heard a little and from whom you will shortly hear, because uh, she does already such wonderful work in the community in Los Angeles. Myself, as a recovering drug addict and alcoholic, you come to realise that uh, regardless of uh, acquisitions that you may make professionally or materially, that these things are of little value compared to the banquet that one can attend in the world of philanthropy and social activity. An important part of my recovery is awareness of other people suffering from this disease, the symptoms of which are obvious on our streets. When I spent some time in downtown Los Angeles, I was uh, astonished by the degree and severity of homelessness in that community. Now, I know f for myself that so for me, it's, like, it's astonishing that we have learned to acclimatize to such an extreme condition as uh, people that are the same as us being cast aside. When uh, Laurie uh, found that there was an opportunity in the previous uh, People in Progress institution, which could largely uh, Im deploy some of their infrastructure, it seemed too good an opportunity to miss. People in Progress, as Richard has already mentioned, have done tremendous work. For me, there is no greater cause than addressing this issue because, uh, as has been kindly said of myself and perhaps more literally and accurately said of Laurie, huge potential can be unlocked in people that are a ter ter terrible detriment to society. Now, I know there are often concerns when a facility such as ours, Freehab, opens in a community, knowing that there will be an influx of people with addiction issues and homelessness. But what excites me is the potential for alchemy when certain prog uh, program and principles are applied to these people. The people that have uh, hence the far been a tremendous detriment and deficit to their community can be embraced and transformed and can become active. We intend, obviously, as part of our obligation that uh, accompanies this certification, to give back to the Sun Valley community to generate work there. And Los Angeles is my home now. I really like it here. I've just got a green card. I'm living here. I'm whacking out all sorts of taxes. I'm more than happy. <laughs> English architect, someone told me, done this place, so that's good news as well. And one of your councillors is called Englander. The signs are everywhere. <laughs> So for me, this is an entirely positive thing. While superficially there are some uh, ugly aspects to the disease of addiction and the condition of homelessness, what I see there is tremendous potential, tremendous potential for change, potential that to some degree has been realised in my own life, and that in partnership with you here, hello there, with you here, <laughs> this has become a wonderful accompaniment, uh, in, in uh, partnership with the members of this council, the members of our entire Los Angeles community, something that can evolve and develop, help lots of people get back into work, working in recovery. Laurie's an example of someone who would have been a total pain in the ass for society, as was I, and now occasionally I'm of some use. I think this can be a <laughs> tremendous benefit to the city of Los Angeles, initially to the district in which we're inaugurating, but then throughout the community. Like uh, Councillor England I was saying there, we're looking for primarily 
primarily for private philanthropic grants, many of which are coming. There's a lot of excitement about this project in the film community. Many of the people, some of whom that councillor mentioned, are interested in becoming involved in this. I think this can be an exciting project that will embrace the artistic reputation of this city and the philanthropic tendency of the people that are here. Thanks very much for this opportunity to chat to you. I'm tremendously grateful. And uh, Laurie wants to say something now, isn't it, mate? <laughs> I am just so absolutely grateful for your support and Councilman Alarcon's support of the homeless people, the mentally ill people, the veterans, our people, our community. I am just so overwhelmed today with your amazing support for our project. Uh, as the Councilman men mentioned, I founded the Teen Project. The Teen Project helps kids that have exited foster care to homelessness, but now that we've opened in Venice Beach um, and seen the number of children coming from all fronts, abusive homes, unsafe homes, foster care, I mean, it just tears at my heart. We have, uh, we have put together a group of 500 volunteers and are mentoring 122 grassroots organizations to do what we do so we can be there to address the needs of our homeless children and the program that you've talked about. So when I came off the streets myself, I was, I was fortunate to receive a Job Training Partnership Act grant to go back to school, which is one of the things we'll be doing at Free Hub is allowing the folks that are being transformed through the treatment at Free Hub to obtain an education through trade schools and place them in internships. And through that grant, I became an information technology specialist, and I work at Northrop Grumman in the technology department as a program manager. And we have created a text home program where any homeless person in the nation can text the word shelter and their zip code to our short code and it will return a shelter that's within their location within 40 seconds. And I am so... <laughs> and this came as a result of some very, very generous developers at Northrop Grumman and developers that we knew outside that put their efforts together to create this. And it's just an extension of what we're seeing here today, which is the community coming together to help our people. I always say in Africa, when a child's parents die of AIDS, the community comes around that child as aunties and uncles and raises them up. And I believe we have aunties and uncles all over this nation. And we need to awaken them to what is our people and to be there for them, to rescue them. When I think of someone laying outside, sleeping outside, knowing that no one is looking for them and no one is coming for them, it hurts my heart. I will spend the rest of my life rescuing those that are out there that are hopeless and transforming the lives of others to create hope where there is none and to give back what I've been so graciously given through the people around me, which is the restoration of my own life and the ability to be here for others. When Russell came to me with the idea of Freehab, I was so excited and overwhelmed to be part of this project. And then when I saw the building and I heard a little bit about it and saw the news about people in progress closing, it just, it just created even more of an incentive for us to get going on this. And then you think that was enough. We were able to connect with the prior staff from People in Progress and learned that, that the prior staff were actually residents that had gotten sober at People in Progress and they were so committed and grateful and dedicated that they decided to serve their time and create their jobs within the People in Progress community and they're here with us today and I am just so absolutely grateful for all of your support. Thank you so much. Alarcon, as you present the certificates, uh, let's have the council open the roll, close the roll, and tabulate the vote. Twelve ayes. 
Congratulations.